Hey guys. What's up? What's up? How's everyone doing? Great. A little nervous? Definitely a little nervous. No, God no, I'm so stoked. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys. I say the one that's in the middle. Unfortunately, is he is fine. Top. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Hi. We'll start there. To the yes. All the way. Do you think women often find you attractive? Uh, yeah. So why why yeah, did you why? put him for? I feel like I saw his smile. The smile was nice. He's tall and he's tall, yeah. he has like really nice hair and he's tan. What are you looking for in a man physically? Um, definitely someone who's tall, taller than me, that's for sure. Definitely good teeth. Says a lot about personal hygiene. If it looks like you haven't brushed your hair in a day or two. Someone with bad hygiene, that's just immediately, you don't take care of yourself and I don't want to be near you. I like smiles, I like eyes and energy. Maybe like demeanor, like how they're standing. I think blue shirt needs to be second. Or, I agree. Because I agree. His, his face is really symmetrical. Eyes. Yeah. I like you, the eyes, yeah. Second. Yep. Let me just see. Yep. Yep. Okay, this one has personality. Yeah, he's like unbothered. I really like him. Look at his shirt, guys. Yeah. It's giving Shaggy from Scooby. Oh, I really like Look him. Look at the I chain, love that. too. Jack is giving. Yeah. Like, Jack is giving. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got like a pretty nice face. Like my nose is really like, everyone says I got a cute nose. I like this dude. He's quiet and he's here. Yeah. He's just, that's I, true. That's, that's, that's my, my favorite, favorite type of people. I would say that like I'm very middle of the road here. I am the only short hair white guy, so that's like gonna set me out of the group. It's like, oh the oh look, vanilla ice cream right there. I feel like we could leave them how they are. Yeah. Oh, but then but he but but wait, he left. He's so cute. This is hard because I feel like Andros is so sweet. Like I just want to protect him. Like he yeah, looks like a baby that yeah. like I feel like I don't know. Okay, let's try to switch this one and this one and see how that looks. Which yeah. one? Which one? You, green shirt, to the end. Let's see how that looks. And you switch. Yeah. yeah. How do you guys feel about that? Because style. Um, I, I think Andros is second for me. Yeah. I'll say it again. Yeah. I Honestly, so. yeah. Ooh, that looked. Oh, wait, wait. Second, wait, no, like no, that no, way? no, no, no. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, reverse. Yeah. No. Oh, you guys meant that oh, way. Wait, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I meant the reverse. Up. Oh. So you should we keep him in the middle? Wait, should we keep him in the middle? Yeah, let's keep him in the middle. Okay, switch back. That's a happy It's giving me average. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I think just like look wise, I think. First impressions. Yeah. Nothing personal. How did you feel during the physical round? Uh, I loved it. I loved when people were judging me. It made me feel good. Even though I wasn't at the top, it was just like, yeah, they get to look at me. It was honestly good for them. They got to look at some beauty over here. Can everyone introduce themselves, name, and what you do? Yeah. Uh, I'm Kai and I model. I'm Wes, I'm a student and model. I'm Andros and I run a tech company. Is that an accent? Is that an accent? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think it is? I have no idea, but I like it. <laughs> I'm Jack, I'm an actor and I coach volleyball. I'm Nick, I'm a painter and a, I make furniture. Cool. Oh. oh, wow. Very cool. What are you looking for in a man personality wise? Um, someone who's confident, just like someone who knows who they are. I'm very attracted to humor. Humor, that's 100%. I like someone who's funny and who can take a joke because like, I've had experiences with super serious men who just, they take everything personal. If I hear any sort of bragging or any sort of, I've got this, I made more than I don't want it, I already stopped listening. Someone who's cocky, um, I think it's important to be confident, but it's very, there's a very clear distinction between the two. Hey Grace. What do you find attractive in someone? I mean, personally, I love it when guys care about the quality of products they use. Hmm, I've never actually thought about that, but you know what? It makes sense. When someone cares about the quality of their products and doesn't fall for marketing gimmicks, that's really attractive. Oh my gosh, sorry I'm late. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Can I just add cleanliness, specifically a good clean shave? Wait, duh. Of course you can. Okay, perfect. I'm so glad because we want to thank Henson Shaving for sponsoring this portion of the video. Did you know that Henson pivoted from making aerospace parts to making razors like their AL-13 during the pandemic? Guys, I use aerospace precision on my skin. It's not just for men, women love it too. With Henson, you can even eliminate the 
excessive waste caused by plastic disposal razors because the AL-13 and their blades are plastic free. Wait, does that mean? Yep, they can even be recycled. Their replacement blades are also like 30 cents per month, so you don't have to worry about spending a ton of money on shaving as long as you have a Henson razor. And who doesn't love saving money? So, whether for you or a friend or anyone who wants a smarter shave, Henson is for everyone. Click the link in the description box below and use code JUBILEE for 100 free blades with purchase of any razor. That's up to four years worth of free blades. Thanks so much to Henson Shaving for sponsoring this portion of the episode. Now, now let's, let's get, get back, back to the video. video. Um, what's everybody's favorite movie? Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. <gasps> okay. That's a really good one. Tears of the Sun. Okay. It's about um, the war in Africa, how African nations go against each other and um, oh, wow. U.S. forces went over to save um, some, um, I think it was a princess or a king. That's a really deep one. Okay. 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 <laughs> he seemed like he was very nervous. That nervous energy was a little bit off-putting, so that energy just didn't match. I would say Game of Death is like an old Bruce Lee movie. It's like the first movie I ever saw with my dad. Oh, wow. I really like the SpongeBob movie. <laughs> I watch that like every month. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, Drive. That's also a good movie. That's a good one. Okay. okay. I'm gonna be that person. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Okay. I'm a Cancer. Are you just asking for sun, not like all oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm uh, Aries, Sun, Sag, Moon, Taurus, Rising. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm Sagittarius, but my sister knows all the other stuff, the rising. Mm. It's all my phone. Once you said Sagittarius, I was good. <laughs> oh, you call Sagittarius. Yeah. You hate on fire sticks. Yeah. I'm kidding. That was great. Uh, I'm an Aquarius. Oh. And then I think I have like Gemini somewhere or okay. Libra. Should we have something deeper? Like, should we go deep? When's the last time you cried? Yeah. I was watching a medication commercial for <laughs> uh, like back pain, and this woman was like in a hospital bed. And I was like, f. <laughs> this is so sad. Oh my God. Yeah, so I cry at commercials, and yeah. Last time I cried was Marley and Me. <laughs> oh I can't do that. If I ever see a yeah. I'm complete. Uh, I watched this film called Past Lives recently, yes. and it's, yeah, I cried at the end scene. It was, it was, it was crazy. Now we have to watch it. Yeah, oh. you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're trying to cry now? No, I lost my best friend this year, so it's still been a hard thing for me. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Like you made me think about it. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry. Can we give him a hug? Wait, yeah. is that allowed? Can we get, give him a group hug? Oh my gosh. <laughs> group I'm hug? I'm so sorry. It's <laughs> fine. I feel so bad. Get so the bad. tissues. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. It's hard. I'm not going to joke. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was my brother. Oh. Oh. Damn, whose question was that? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> And you? Oh, mine was like, I think last week. I think it was at the movies, I was watching a movie. Okay. Well, like, Which one? The stupidest reason, it's Blue Beetle. It had something to do with family, oh. and I just made me cry <laughs> so hard. That makes sense. I was like, damn. And I cried like three times in that movie, I think. <laughs> I just respect them. <laughs> okay, what's your, um, what's your body count? <laughs> oh! Okay. Uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's, My mom's gonna, gonna watch this. Yeah. 13. Okay. Oh, I think oh, 10. Okay. I think I'd, you know, I don't want to think of each one as like a number. So, yeah. Okay. I'm not going to answer that question. Oh, my God. Yeah. I want to keep that private. Piggyback off his answer, and I lost track. Okay. A lost track Ballpark. is a crazy response. Yeah, I mean, that, that's okay. I didn't, I never, I never, I never counted this. I never kept, like, he's like, when you said, I never kept track of this. So at the point, I never actually counted in my head. So at the point, I was like, in my head, mentally, now I'm counting, okay. That's Nick, uh -huh. you've been reacting back I'm just there. Been it's interesting. <laughs> what what was your reaction when he didn't want to think of everyone as a number? Uh, I would like to ask you when the last time you got tested for anything was. Me? Yeah, just out of safety, dude. Like, keep track. March. 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 Yeah. Okay, there you go. I'm just saying that's what I thought. It's like, what the <laughs> heck? No, no, sorry. It's no people are people and not just numbers, obviously. But yeah. I was just. I'm just saying, like, all right. Yeah, well, it's better, much better. I gotta keep say. track in my head because I forget things all the time. Yeah. So it was a little bit dramatic for me, um, and that was coming from the quiet guy. So it was just kind of confusing. Um, I'm kind of with that. You should get tested. I mean, I think the delivery kind of came out a little harsh. I didn't mean to impart any judgment upon him for that at all. I was just thinking, like, um, it's like, oh well. I mean, duh, dude. Everyone here thinks women are people. Like, I think that's we all agree. Like, no, they're not just numbers. They're not like wins. 
But if someone's asking you the question, I was thinking like, well, what's the rough answer? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> totally. Oh, we skipped him. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Um, you don't have to say it. No, actually. I don't really care. It's, it's, I don't care. Uh, like 27, 28. Okay. Um, who pays on the first date? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I would, honestly. Yeah, who I would. makes more money? <laughs> that's, that's, that's that's I think it, it sometimes depends on who invited who, but most of the time it's like in a heterosexual setting, it's like the guy inviting the girl. So. With Andros, I felt like he had direction in his life. He just screamed provider man mindset, and that's something that I'm very attracted to. What do you feel like is something that you struggle with the most that you're like working towards fixing that has prevented you from like healthy relationships? I can say I lost myself at one point in my life, um, just going through a lot of hardships, especially with my grandma when she died. I just kind of lost myself in the wilds, lost myself in the sauce. But I can definitely say I was toxic to a certain degree a couple years ago. I think mine is more of like asking for help because I grew up an only child until like maybe a couple years ago. And then also growing up, my mom was always working, so I'd come home alone and do everything myself. Like communication is like my number one factor. If like you can't do that, then there's not gonna work here. I think for me, I tend to dedicate a lot of time at work. And so sometimes I think my ex would say that I neglect them or I don't spend enough time with them. And as I'm getting older, I think I'm realizing that you know, having a healthy relationship actually really helps with your ambitions. You're an Aries. I'm an Aries, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, when I was young, I was like kind of dumb, and I didn't realize talking and doing stuff with other girls was as bad as it like could be, you know? I didn't cheat or anything, let's calm down, I saw your face. But I was just like, just like, you know, like hanging out with girls and not being like vocal about it. I learned that was like pretty bad, and it like, you know, just messed, that would, like, that's what all my exes would say. I don't know, I definitely like, um, I get like pretty bad seasonal depression. And I'm like, I'm gonna go crawl into a hole and die. Um, and then I'm not really there for everyone in my life. So working on that has been like a big thing. Is everyone here single? Yes. Yes. For the most part, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna watch this. No, she knows. Oh. Uh, like, we talk about this. I'm, I communicate these things. Do you guys believe in monogamy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah? All to of you? To a certain yeah. extent. I think the, with the way our generation is going, marriage is kind of dying out. You don't need to be married with somebody. It's just like someone that you trust and have a good relationship with that you can build a relationship. And it's like, I do believe in like one person finding another person and they can be together for as long as that happens. And then maybe one day they break up or end things, who knows? It happens, it's realistic. It's just... Okay, so number one, I said he should be at the front at the beginning. Number two, um, he's very attractive, but he knows it. Number three, funny. I said I like funny guys. Vibed with his looks and his personality and um, his job. Definitely someone I'd actually be interested in getting to know outside of this. I really didn't agree with a lot of his views on stuff, which is fine, like you do you, it's just not for me. And then, like mildly uncomfortable, which is nothing against him. <sighs> yeah. My number one has energy in line with like men that I'm usually attracted to. And number two, I really think he's very interesting and cool in a way that's not someone that I would usually be attracted to, but I am. And then the bottom, it's not like I dislike anyone. I just, I'm very disinterested in a lot of people. <laughs> and so I think it's just like, it's just like, you guys are cool. So my number one, it's because he's giving a sense of stability. So it's giving like more daddy vibes and I really like that. Um, number two, it's because he just sounds fun and my vibe. So I think we would get along. And number five, it was the exact opposite of why I chose the first one. <laughs> this one, um, because I can learn a lot from him and I feel like I won't get annoyed. Number two, I like the quiet. I like when, you know, men don't have to interject or talk, you know, steal the show. Number four, um, I really appreciated his honesty and vulnerability. Are you enjoying this episode of Ranking? If you are, then make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Now, let's get back into the episode. Okay, so fifth, we have West. LG. At no. seven points. 
seven is crazy. In fourth, we have Kai. Yeah, I told you. I told you. What? Kai, you had 13 points. Ooh, love it. In third, Nick. Yeah, no that. way. Good yeah, job. Thank you. At 15 no. points, second, Jack. At 16 points. Hey, Mama, we made it. Thank God. And in first, Andros at 24 points. 20. Whoa. What? Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, You'd be my top one too. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what? He was top two and he was everything. No, why? But okay, thank you. That's very <laughs> kind. Like, yeah. How's everyone feeling? Oh, I feel fine. I feel fine. Yeah. I feel better. I'm feeling good. Feel better. Feeling good. The mid-white guy made it to the middle. I'm <laughs> I think we should put her one and we put Ginger's two. All right. Go, go, go. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Go. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. I think there were some questions like about attractiveness and I answered it. Like, if you know you're pretty, it's like apparently it's unattractive now, which I never really agreed with because like I'm not gonna go around the world thinking I'm ugly. Like I know I'm an attractive person, I'm gonna own up to it. I'm not gonna be cocky about it, but you know. But also the monogamy question, I am pretty sure threw them off. And probably the body count threw them off because I know like 27 is like a high number. 